In this video, I'm going to be talking about a few locus problems using complex numbers. The first thing that I'm going to be talking about is how to draw a line, or rather, what is the locus of a line and how you formulate that. And the second thing that I'll be talking about is the circle. So, okay, let's let's get started with the first question. It, the, to do this, um, all these questions I'm going to be doing graphically rather than uh, working out the maths, right? So. I hope you have some idea of how to use vectors, right? So that's a prerequisite for this one. But let's let's go along with this. All right. So uh, I have a question like this: z minus two i is equal to uh, I'm going to say z plus three i. Now this this is the usual notation of what a straight uh, straight line looks like in complex numbers. So let me let me let me draw this out for you. So that's my little argon diagram, so the imaginary of z and the real of z, right? So remember it's not it's not quite x and x and y in this axis. Um, okay, so if I have an arbitrary vector, right? So let's 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 call this z. Um, okay. Z minus two i. Now what does that look like? This is two over here. And this is going to be uh, minus three over here. Z minus two. Uh, so this this way, going going up, it's plus two. But if I'm going down, this vector is minus two, right? So doing the whole head to tail thing. Doing the whole head to tail thing. This vector over here is Z minus two i, right? And the same way. In the same idea, if I going down, going down this in this direction, that's minus three. But if I if I invert it, if I invert it to make it uh, point upwards, that's going to be z plus three, right? And again, doing head to tails, I have my vector z plus three i. Now, what it's effectively saying, what it's what it's really saying is that this vector over here. And this vector over here have to be the same length. Now, if they have to be the same length, guess what? It's going to end up being a line. So uh, let me let me just redraw this so that I don't uh, clutter everything. Okay, so I have I have two up here. I have minus three down here. So basically, any any line. So if any line that any point rather that I, that I'm going to draw has to be of equal length, right? So if I draw from here to here, so if my z is from there to there, that length has to be equal to that line. This this one has to be equal to this this line. So it, basically, what I'm getting is a set of isosceles um, isosceles triangles. So joining the dots, I'm going to get a straight line. Okay, so this is my final. Uh, that's my final uh, locus. All right. So basically, it's going to go through minus one because, uh, sorry, is it minus one? So between, so it has to be equidistant between two and minus three. So sorry, that should be minus point five. Um, my mistake. This minus point five. Okay. There's two point from five from here, two point five from there. That will be the equidistance line. Let's let's do a bit more complicated kind of um, so similar kind of question. So I'm going to go z minus two i again, but this time I'm going to say it's equal to z plus three. All right. So basically this time, what it's going to look like is so let's let's draw where my two is and where minus three is. So this time it's going to be equidistant from here. So basically what you end up with is something something that's perpendicular to this. Okay, so so effectively my line will look like this. This over here is perpendicular so that it's always equidistance from uh, 2i and plus 3. Okay, so there you go. So that is my final one. Now if you really need to if you need to find the uh, equation of this line the equation of this line, unfortunately, you have to do the maths behind it. Okay, so uh, 
I'll quickly do the maths, maths in, in this question, right? Uh, and I'll do the circles in my next video. So uh, this will go, uh, let's see. So instead of Z, I'm going to write X plus I, Y. Okay, so X plus, so my, remember my Z is equal to X plus I, Y. So in this, in this case, in this particular question, I have 2i over there and 3 over there. So collecting my like terms, in my i, I will have y minus 2 has to be equal to, over here, uh, collecting the like terms again, x plus 3 plus i, y. Okay, so, so that's the absolute value. Now rem remember the, the definition of a absolute value um, of a complex number. So I'll write it over here is equal to simply you square the imaginary and the real terms and square rooted. Okay. Um, now I'm not going to bother with the square root sign, and the reason is because I have square root on both sides, right? Because I have square roots on both sides, I can simply square them to get rid of the square roots. Okay. So in the end, I will end up with this x plus 3 plus y squared. Okay, so now, now a whole bunch of terms are about to get cancelled out, right? So expanding this side, I will end up getting x squared plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus y squared. Okay, so what am I going to cancel out in here? Uh, the y squared will cancel out the y squared, the x squared will cancel out the x squared, so in the end, these are the only terms that I have. Okay, so I'm going to take everything onto one side, so it will become 6x plus 4y uh, plus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is my final equation of the line. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to be talking about uh, circles, and again, I'll be doing it graphically, and this time it'll be, um, the getting out the equation will be much easier. So uh, thanks for listening and let me know if you have any questions.